Hello, welcome to the asset management mobile demonstration. This system here, or this small application here, um, complements the central web uh, asset management system. So, the this application here is mainly to do uh, inspection, and also he has the ability to create new assets or register new assets. So let's uh, log into the system. We have um, five functions here, and the first one is to download uh, the master data. It is advisable to uh, perform a download before each business day. So click on the download button, you can leave the rest as default. It basically says what server you want to download from, and the master data consists of like asset status, asset category, asset location and type, and so on. Those data are seldom changed, that's why we call it master data. So once the master data are downloaded into this device, um, we can perform, say, registration of uh, assets. Say, for example, you, have, uh, you walk into a room, and you don't know if all the assets in that room uh, has been registered in the system. Okay, so uh, what you would do is you perform an RFID scan, so you can start the reading. So what it, what it does is that you start to scan all the RFID tags. Okay, and it's able to find about five tags here. I think I have six tags here. Okay, yeah, here you go. So there's six tags here, and here's an example of uh, the RFID tag. And it's um, you can see this is uh, one zero 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 to. One nine, okay. So one zero zero one nine, okay. And we have another tag over here. Um, one zero zero eighteen, okay. So it looks like this. I'm just gonna flip it over so you can have a good look at the tag. Okay. So once you are satisfied that all the tags are read out in that room you can click on the stop reading. Okay, when you stop the RFID tag reading, what the device will do is you will check all these tags in this list here against what uh, is in the system. So after the checking, you can see that um, there are two, sorry, there are four, four assets that are registered in the system. Okay, the assets they are registered, we were able to tell the description, like this is a cabinet, and that is uh, something something else, and this one is a Canon projector, and another asset called AAA. So, the ones that is marked OK are the assets that are able to be found in the system, are registered in the system. The ones that are marked X over here, this one over here, Okay, this is uh, an asset that do not exist in the system. So you can choose to register this asset. Okay, all you need to do is you take the asset out from the shelf, and and you obviously look at it and decide what kind of asset is it. Then you can start to uh, put in the information. Okay, to do that, you just need to double click on this line, and you can see that the asset one zero 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 one eight. Okay, the barcode is populated for you, and you can decide. Say this item is an electronic appliance, or maybe it's an electronic display. Example, and it's a monitor. And you can say this is maybe a 32-inch monitor. It can be any manufacturer. You can just type in any manufacturer, any model, and a serial number. And you can perform inspection. Your initial inspection. Say today, the 12th of October, you found this unregistered asset, okay, and you want to uh, perform the first initial inspection. So you check the, the asset, and you found out that it, it's maybe um, maybe it's misplaced, for example, okay. That's why it's not registered in the system. It could be misplaced. So you just type out why is it misplaced, and you just put in your reasons. You can can be anything. So just type in anything, and you can choose uh, where do you found this asset. So I found it in, say, storage bin B. 
for example. So I'm just going to choose storage bin B or A, doesn't matter. So um, I have chosen storage bin A and you can see the last one is the owner. Who is the owner? You can choose the owner is uh, Abdul Razak. Currently I only have one owner. I only created one owner account. So once you are satisfied that all the information is uh, correct, then you can click the save button. Say, are you sure you want to save this asset? Or you, are you sure you want to register this asset? Okay, yes. So once the uh, asset record is uh, created successfully, he, he asks you whether you want to continue the next tag or do you want to exit. So you click yes that you want to stay and you want to continue registering other tags. Okay, notice that the uh, tag 100018 is now marked as OK and you can see that the description 32 inch TV is written down here and we have one more tag which is uh, unknown and does not exist in the system, this one over here. Okay, you can do the same by double clicking it, okay, which is a uh, 1008, double clicking it, then you pre populate for you, then you just provide the information that is relevant to that asset, and you can click save when you're done. Oh, yeah, one thing to note is that uh, uh, you can see that there, there's a total of two out of six unregistered texts, okay, which is the history, okay, there was, there was two unregistered texts just now. Okay, and we have just registered one of it, and we have one more that we need to register over here. Okay, and um, let's, I think that's it. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. You can you can you can actually use the um, the barcode, okay, scanner instead of the RFID. Okay, so let's let's try the barcode the scanner. This yellow button here. Okay, you can click it, and you can scan it. So I'm just going to put this this tag over the scanner. Okay. Okay. So we can see this asset over here. One zero zero eight. Okay. Okay. This asset does not exist in the system. Do you want to register it? So after performing the barcode scan, uh, it, uh, the device will compare or check the scan asset against uh, what we have in the system. If uh, if this asset does not exist in the system, then he will suggest you to register it. You can choose yes to register it, and you will come back to the same screen here with the uh, barcode pre-populated and also the asset code pre-populated for you. So what you need to do is just to specify other informations like the description, manufacturers, and so on, and hit the save button. So, okay, that's it. So that is the uh, create new asset function which I have explained. I have another function called the check function. So check function is purely on um, asset inspection. Okay, it has the same screen as well. Um, here's another scenario. Say for example, you walk into a warehouse and you want to check everything in the warehouse. So you can actually hit the scan, start reading button, and you start scanning everything that is in the warehouse right now. And I have about six tags here, so you can see total six all scanned already, nicely. And you can stop the reading. So reading is stop. Okay. So in this list, okay, all you need to do now is uh, locate that item in the shelf and so on. You found, just say for example, you found item twenty in the shelf. And you, and you open it up and you check it. So all you need to do is you need to give, provide information. To do that same, you need to double click. Okay, and he'll bring you to this screen here. So the, the asset that you're currently inspecting should fulfill all this uh, basic information here. Should, this, this basic information here should tally with the uh, asset. Okay, so I'm currently checking a cabinet, uh, two times three, uh, and all this is information. So I can say I want to do a check right now. Mm, oops, sorry. So I want to do a check right now, and I want to say this item is check, and this item is currently in storage A, and any remarks you can just put it in, and you can hit save. Oh yeah, you can also check the history. So this item has been missing, so in storage A. Somehow or rather, I found it in storage A already. So you can see on on the 10, sorry, on 12th of August, it was missing. Uh, it's supposed to be in storage A. But uh, say uh, 
12th of October, uh, same day, but a few hours later, I'm able to find it. So uh, this item is found, and click Save. So you say, inspection record is created successfully. Do you want to continue next scan? You can click Yes if you want. And again, this uh, screen supports barcode scanning as well. So I can take this tag here, I can put it on top, and I can scan for it. I can try. Okay. So, okay, this asset cannot be located. So meaning that this asset, this asset has not yet been registered in the system. So you need to go back to the to the new module to register it. Let's try a different asset now. Sorry. This one maybe. Okay, so this one exists. So you can see that the barcode works as uh, well as well. Okay, um, same thing. You can put the check status here and so on. So I'm going to exit. The last one. The last one is verification. Uh, asset verification tells you what is supposed to be in the room and what's supposed not supposed to be in the room. So, say for example, your current location is, um, say, storage bin A. You walk into storage bin A and you perform a scan. So I've got six tags here. Okay, once you've got all six tags, you stop. So what it does is that it will you pull down a list of assets uh, from the system that should belong to storage bin A. Okay? And he'll compare against what you have just scanned. So this, 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 what this device does is that he will download a list of assets okay, from the system for storage bin A. Okay? And this device, you use this list and compare against what you have just scanned. Okay, so let's look at the overview. Overview is the uh, the list, the system list. So in the system, okay, uh, for storage storage bin A, okay, the system says that I expect to see only two um, assets, right? And I have scanned. I am now in storage bin A, but I am able to scan more than two. You can see that there's six here. So out of these six here, two of them matches exactly uh, with what the system ex is expecting. Okay. So the the system says that I'm expect to see two assets in storage bin A, and after you scan, you get six assets here, and two assets from the scan list matches with two assets of the system list. So two out of two tags match. Is there any missing tags? No, there isn't any missing tax. Okay. But is there any extra tax? There are, there are four extra tax. So what you can see here is that the device is telling you that there are four extra unknown assets or maybe uh, four extra assets. They are known but is misplaced. Okay. So you can see here there's the this one over here the is the asset is known. And you can see it's in the description it tells you that it's wrong location. Okay. By right, this one's supposed to be in storage X. And you are picking up it in storage A. This is funny, isn't it? So what you need to do is obviously you need to move that item back to storage X or, or do whatever that needs to be done. Okay, and uh there's one asset that does not exist in the system at all. Okay. So this is probably an unregistered asset okay, that is laying around in the uh, storage bin A and you just pick it up. Okay, let's try a different location now. Let's try Johor. And I'm going to start scanning now. Six tags, okay, stop. So let's check. So say for example you are in Johor now and uh, this device has put down a list uh, from the system okay and this list here uh, is the Johor list okay so what you can see that from the eight items you're able to match two items only the rest of the items uh, the system is expecting it to be there but you can't find it because after you scan you only get six items here 
Okay, and, and out of these six items, only two items matches with what the uh, system wanted. These two. And the rest is considered missing. Okay? Because the things that you scan here doesn't seem to fit here. And it is under the missing list. So you need to go find out where did all these items uh, went to. Okay? And is there any extra? So there are also extra items here. So th those, these items are actually at the wrong location. And it tells you that it, those items are supposed to be in A and X. Some are even not even registered. So the verification function is quite useful if, if you want to find out uh, what items are supposed to be uh, belong to which area. So it will help you sort it out. So that, that concludes uh, my demo. Uh, for the uh, mobile asset management system. Okay, uh, thank, thank you.